Here we are again, back in the garage. Yeah, what do we have here? An oldie but a goodie. It hasn't been out again. You have to dust off the shelf to get it out, but we have the Mavic Mini, version one, the one that started it all. One of the very first minis out there, okay? And I got it from the beginning. This is the replacement I got, and I'll put a post up here about the infamous crash that we had and recovery in the snow and the ice, all that kind of stuff. It was, it was phenomenal. But anyway, I've had this uh, replacement for, oh, ever since way, way back, way back. Anyway, the Mavic Mini and the controller, I call the clamshell controller. It's on its last legs for battery. I do have a new battery for it right now. One battery tends to last one flight and then I have to recharge it again. Um, but yeah, how does this stack up to the Mini 3? Maybe in video, you know, this only goes 2.7 at 30. Maybe in video, maybe in distance. Uh, I doubt it, I doubt it. But will it stack up to anything else like the Femi X8 Mini or a Hubson? What do you think? Does the video transmission cut out first and then the controller keeps on going? We're gonna see all that. We're doing the exact same experiment that we did with all the other drones this week. Sitting in the garage, sending it out. I'm facing east, I'm flying it west, about 70 meters high, how far does it get? And that to me gives me a control for the winter. Say I wanna be in my car or in the truck because it's zero or just below zero. I don't wanna get cold, okay? I have an idea that it will fly X number of meters, so I don't have to worry about it, you know, for X number of whatever. The TX-10 with the Femi X8 SE 2022, I know it can go out for past a kilometer. The Mini 3, I know, is on the verge of that one kilometer if I'm lucky, okay? The Hubson's around maybe the 700, 800 meter mark, and the X8 uh, Mini, maybe around the 600 meter mark, somewhere around there, okay? Where does this one fall? Somewhere in the middle, somewhere past? We're gonna find out, okay? So let's do the control flights on this and come back at the end. I fully charged this. We're fully charged on the craft, uh, the battery. I'm charging the other batteries because I've learned in the past, you kinda gotta keep them charged up and let them die and then charge them up again, things like that. I do have a new battery for this, but um, I don't fly it that much. Maybe I should, okay? But uh, the video is gonna be interesting because the tech on the video on this is years old and they've gotten better and better and better. But have the other manufacturers stepped up to the plate? Let's see what the video. And I have not really done any 2.7K 30 frames per second videos with this. I've always been 1080p. So that's going to be startling to me, okay? How's the dynamic range? What's it look like? Is it in focus? What are the colors like? Saturation, contrast, et cetera. So it's going to be thrilling for me as well, okay? Let's get to it, and I'll see you at the end. So we've got 1080p. We're going to go for 2.7 at 30, just because it's a little bit better. That's, uh, that's the highest we can go on this, I believe. Yep, that's the highest we can go. And uh, then you've got the Mini 2, which is the 4K, but the exact same camera. So we're in the garage exactly like before. Let's get this up. Now we had to do a compass calibration. Now it's about a meter off the ground. Home point has been updated. Return to home is 50 meters. It is like a rock. It is. Now listen to this carefully. It's more stable than my Mini 3, if you can believe it. It just rises up, just like the USS Enterprise coming above the rings of Saturn, just rises up, it's phenomenal. Yes, I'm a Trekkie. Here we go. So let's get this up a little bit, and we're gonna come this way. Forward, let's start that video. There we go. Okay, 
Look at that blue sky, and this is a 2.6, 1 over 2.6 camera. My goodness, that blue sky looks phenomenal. Oh my goodness, I say, Femi, Hubson, look out. It's just not, I don't think it's even comparable, but we're going to see. Look at the colors in this, just beautiful, beautiful blue sky, and as you go higher, the blue goes away, right? Up to 19. And now we're going to see how far. We still have three. got to keep an eye on that. Three lights. Up to 27. Okay, let's go up to... we got to go up to 50 or 60 and turn around and go around. That's where we're going to be. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. Now, I'm using my Galaxy S9 Plus um, camera. And I'll tell you what. I bought this off a of marketplace like two or three years ago. Got a super deal on it. Look at that grass. And it's been absolutely remarkable. I have a Galaxy S7 Edge I use for my phone. It's all busted up and cracked. And I use that for videos. But for all my flying, this S9 Plus is absolutely amazing. Okay, I think we're going to run into trouble right off the bat. Let's get that down a bit. We're going to go up to 70. Okay. Let's go start out. Where are we going to go? We had a little glitch in the system right then and there. Let's see if we can go up a little bit. Now, I'm facing the exact same place I was facing before, which was due east. That's where I'm facing. How far out am I going to go? Now, remember, the Femi X8 Mini got to the edge of upper edge of this first little lake and then it cacked out the hubsons yeah, got as far as the island in the middle of that lake there the parrot got between the island and that well no we're 300 that's it no definitely yeah confirm sure no cancel for now Let's see if we can go any further forward. Yeah, see, we're going farther forward. Weak signal, just antennas. Okay. Remote control signal lost. Okay. Prepare to connect, adjust. Okay. It should be returning to home. Return to home. See what we can do. There, see, it's returned, turned around. You saw that there. Weak signal. Here it comes. 395. It's just going to be interesting. So, it did return, or it is, but I don't have any vi visual. I think this is one where I got, oh, there it is. Came back. And we're going at 7 meters per second. That's pretty good. How is the and the video is just auto standard 2.7 30k to me it looks incredible it looks as good as the mini 3 to me you let me know it's uh really looks how do i get rid of that sound i don't know can't remember anyway uh it's annoying i know but how do i get rid of it i can't remember I know on the hubs and you hold something and it goes away, but on this I really don't know. So, there we go. Tap to cancel. Let's see where it's coming. Where is it coming? Well, it's not bad. So, let's see if we're coming down. I'd say it's within. It's within a meter. Yeah, it's within a step, so I just pushed cancel, okay, and I'll come down and show you where I am. There. We're sitting there, we've been sitting here all the time, so um, 
no need to land it, but I do have the skis on it. But um, yeah, let's just uh, turn around and uh, we'll go inside and do a wrap, okay? So what do you think of that? I was really impressed. I mean, for the camera on this, 2.7K, 30 frames per second. It's old tech, it's been around for years. It's amazing. It's better than some of the new stuff. I think it's better than the, uh, the Femi X8 Mini. I think it's better than the Hubson Mini. Um, I think it's the, probably the 2.7K on this is right up there with a the Mini 3, okay? So it's a very comparable, capable drone. Downfall doesn't have that much range. Other downfall, it's not that good in the wind. But if you've got a nice day and you want to travel around, let's say the one kilometer ring, then it's great, okay? I thought it was good. I thought it performed well. It sits right there in the middle, okay? Look at my other videos. I've got this from the truck and a car in the winter, uh, different tests, things like that. Tons and tons of videos on this. Just thought I'd bring it out, get it out of mothballs, see if it compares and how it compares and how far has tech really come. If you just want a flying drone or a flying camera, you let me know in the comments. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe and the bell. Stay tuned for all my videos to come and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.